Hey folks, I'm Therveen Glory, and welcome to part 13 of my campaign of Scotland in Europa Universalis 4. So, we're at peace with the world. Um, we're allied with England and with uh, Portugal. Denmark are rivals. And going for the old alliance reversed achievement, so we need to vassalise France. Uh, so what I really need is an ally who's going to attack France. Uh, England might. I'm thinking that if I man up as much as I can, become as strong as I can, it might encourage England to attack France and reclaim some of its lost claims. Uh, unfortunately, Burgundy are being beaten down, and Castile uh, rivaled with England. They don't have an alliance with France. But I still don't think they are going to invade. So we need to see. And I don't think Burgundy would declare war on France either, even if I was allied with them. France is just too strong. Uh, so anyway, let's get moving. Uh, I am losing money for some reason. Fleet maintenance is down, uh, we're reinforcing. That'll be what it is. And Sweden, I, I had hoped that they might declare independence from Denmark, but they continue to not want to do that. That's not what I'm looking for, it's this. Liberty, De well, Liberty Desire's gone up to a whole 1.3%. So it might come. Anyway, uh, I've got a free diplomat. Well, actually, I don't need to keep that one. I don't know why I've still got that one in Denmark. I've got claims in there already, I'm pretty sure. I guess that's why. Okay, so, yeah, we're going to... Pull this guy back, and we'll send Walter Maxwell instead. Um, he can go out and improve relations with Sweden. I don't have any free merchants. There's nothing else we can do. Is my fleet you protect and trade? Yes, you are. Okay. So, yeah, I think the money will come good once we've stopped uh, reinforcing our armies. So, our force limit, land force limit, I think is 23, or 33. So, once the money sorted itself out, I will look at how many units I can support. I then want to have have an army maybe in Cork, somewhere around there, uh, and we build up our fleet of cogs, station them in Cork, so that if England do declare war at short notice, I can jump across with a maybe a 15 stack and land in France. It's a bit of a medium term goal, that one, I think. So I think we've still got a loan to pay off as well. Yes. Okay. How close are you to being full strength? Near enough. Would it be better to consolidate the regiments? I, well, it's too late now, but just have the one reinforcing. That may have been an idea. Unit full strength, yeah. Okay, so let's see. No more reinforcement to be done. Can we get back up to positive income? Maria is a blessing. What's this? 
admin technology cost me is 10%. Good stuff. Uh, so, still need to reduce our maintenance a bit. Let's have no impact. Seriously. Oh, because of drilling, of course. Um, okay, let's stop them drilling. Well, we'll give them a wee second, another couple of months, maybe. So they've revoked their embargo. Relations is going up. And their liberty desire is back down to zero because I guess. Oh, no, Sweden's improving Denmark's opinion. Make up your mind. Because you're at war, maybe. And they've <laughs> put it back in place. Okay. Uh, no new positive income again, so that's fine. No sign of any increase in army size in England. How long? Do they have a truce at the moment with France? No. England need to get their finger out and get some better allies as well. Austria is a potential option, but they're too far away from France. They're not going to go to war either. Plus one possible advisors. Okay. Um, England working on the Papal State. It's not hugely helpful. Hmm. Seven, seven, eight as well. France, seven, nine, eight. Okay, your income's gone up nicely now. Uh, are we still, no, we're not, I think, coding any provinces. would still come in. Uh, your war score, okay. Lubeck, you're in two wars, so I guess you're going to lose out there. I think I've said before, if this is this is the problem playing in Scotland if you don't go to war with England. You're so isolated uh, and you don't have the naval power to go and challenge the likes of Denmark unless Sweden do declare independence. Uh, so anyway. Uh, no. I'm going to stop the drill for now. I'll have you move in there. And you come back across. No, you go into Cork and you go across to Ayrshire. Ayrshire, you had some unrest at one point, but that's gone. You, yeah, unrest seems to be fine everywhere. Uh, we can build improvements, but I'm not doing that until we've paid off our loan, and we're now making 3.77 per month. That's much better. All Highlander provinces get minus 2 unrest, plus 10% production efficiency for 10 years. Very good. Okay. Land, I wonder. What's this the result of? I guess you were in. You may be in a war with somebody that France attacked.
Any, well, we can't see down here. I was wanting to see if there's any sign of armies on the borders. So I'm really waiting for England or France to make a move. And it has to really be England. I need England to declare war in France. I, and then agree to give me the territory down here. I still don't want any either of those, so it's not too bad. France went south of England, obviously, but that doesn't help. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Eight and nine and three. And I want to have 15 there, so we'll send one cav. Uh, yeah, we'll send one cav from this army. And a couple of infantry. You go and join up over here. Let's repair loan. There we go. We'll keep our maintenance down right now. I'm going to send the cogs across here. I just get used to the idea. Stop with ball, come across here. Okay, as you were, you grip up. Let's not grip up, let's grip up. Austria. Doesn't really make much of a difference. I need you to be heading through this direction. Um, the rivals are, well, apart from France, Bohemia, and England, that doesn't help. Okay. Let's see. Just pause just now. If we put the maintenance all the way back up, we can still support the troops. 1.25. Um, let's put it down a bit further. I. No, this is what I want. So we can only really afford another five units of infantry. Or four of them and one cow. So I can't get anywhere near my force limit. And still sustain. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I? Oh, this is going to. When does this expire? Uh, it doesn't seem to tell me. It is. I think it's something like a hundred days or less. Uh, but I was just thinking that. I'm pretty sure I took yeah war taxes. I don't think that's going to be of any real use to me. I think the Age of Discovery is going to expire before I get the chance to benefit from the war taxes. Okay, let's bring him back. How did that work out for us? Not too bad. I still got the embargo. Number to desire seems to be going up a wee bit. Hmm. 
minus a thousand because they're too loyal. But that is useful to know if they were to lose that loyalty. I'll say they'll accept our support. Royal marriage would be good, something of that nature, but if you can't do that. Mm -hmm. And you're looking to grab some land from Lubeck. And the war with Denmark finished, didn't it? Yes. Um, maybe I should ally with Burgundy. If I can ally with Burgundy and help them to conquer territory here, make them a force again that potentially would contend with France. Maybe that's a way to go. You're allied with France. You're allied with Austria, um, but you're not rivaling France. You're actually rivaling Burgundy, which is worse. Hmm. But you're enemies with England. We'll keep an eye on that, that might be an option. Um, so, land technology research, useless, lose 10 prestige, or 50 mil power. I think we'll lose a mil power because we've got loads of it. And... Yeah, we're still way ahead of time. And their technology. We are way ahead of England. And admin and dip. We are ahead. We are ahead. Okay, let's start looking at our infrastructure. At least it's something to do. Uh, we've got a marketplace and a church here. Uh, I need to check out our tax. Ulster's 0.58, so that's the next highest. So let's go and check out Ulster. And you've already got a church. Marketplace, increase your trade power. And again, getting more income from the trade node over here would be useful. Production efficiency. Hmm. I think we'll go with the marketplace build up a trade state maintenance pretty negligible so let's go with that mm, and how about burgers we want to give them some territory. I am looking for this. So say, for instance, Ulster. Okay. So can't do that. Nobility of a lot of land here already. That explains why their influence is so high, I suppose, all the time. Never mind that then. So also, how much do we get from our uh, 
well, I suppose it doesn't tell us how much uh, income we get directly from protected trade. Don't think we get that anywhere, do we? Nope. Don't think we can get that. Oh well, hang on. Hey, trade. It's not breakdown. Nope. Nothing there. So where do we, we must find it? Be able to find out somewhere how much you get from protecting the tree. That must surely gives you a run having to try and work it out by yourself. Some people's brains aren't that big. We've got three diplomats um, forgotten about. Uh, let's try to improve relations. England, why don't you give me some subsidies? That would be a good idea. I was wondering about fleet basing rights to have a nice sweet fleet down here, but it's just the same. It's been there, really. I should maybe have grabbed Cornwall before I made my peace with England. As if, as if I didn't think about attacking England and all the reasons why I couldn't go ahead and do that. I'm sure Portugal would have had something to say if I tried to grab Cornwall. Okay, so we'll get our embargoes lifted again. In France, you're still not at war with anybody. Denmark. Uh, there's no possibility of you coming into conflict with France, I don't think. Riga. Where did that come from? typical Uri with England, uh, so I can't support Burgundy taking you over. Have you got any? Yes, but about is your main area you want to go after. Lorraine as well. You're a your partner of Provence. Provence are allied with France, yep. Even here, even Galre, Galre, allied with France. So, I don't see much scope for Burgundy expanding either. Get another idea. Um, nobility modifiers going back down. Excellent. Uh, Donegal. Economy down at zero. I suppose that's a thing. Uh, not there, so here. Cork, it's because the uh, burgers have you. So it looks like autonomy is down everywhere now, just about. Um, let's see. Mm, 
National Bank. Inflation's not a problem for us. Another merchant would be good. So I think we'll take that when we get our next uh, opportunity. April 15, 12, six months. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Um, inflation and interest aren't that useful to me. <laughs> I think I took this whole chain just to get the 10% national tax modifier. Um, yeah, so we've got no inflation, well, very little inflation. We're not being interested any longer. Marketplaces, what was after? Back to this. No, not that. That. Nope, actually, what I want to do. Limerick, Ormond, and Kildare would be next. Uh, we've got the money, so let's check out Limerick. And we'll go with uh, the church. Okay. And actually, thinking about all the I used to have transfer trade power and things like that from Irish OPMs, they've gone. So we're responsible for all our own money now. I, I'm not jumping up to tech nine just now. And I think it's going to be a while before we're at war. I don't think I need a general. No. Happy with the ones that we have. So, manpower. You know, did some development in here. I may as well continue a wee bit. Just in case the garrison size in there. That's at level two for now, I think. Okay. So England. Right, let's check out. Still get free diplomats. I never did settle on what to do with them. You would now come to war. No, <laughs> that's enemy allies. And let's pick somebody else. Well, let's pick France. You wouldn't come to war. Attitude towards enemies. What? Yeah, of course, you didn't rival France after the, the, the peace deal. Still get the embargo. So this is going to be a long wait, I think. And France are the Curia controller. And they've got 30 points invested for the next time. I'm not doing that just now.
Yeah, I, I, I need to try and think, make a play for the Holy Seat. If I could become one of the Curia Controller, then I would excommunicate France and then try and stir up trouble with them. Hmm. All right. Can you send an emissary? Not yet. Another five years. It's not worth increasing loyalty there. I think it's really worth it there either. Not when influence is so low, I need that to be much higher. Alright. Okay, well I think I'm going to put a break in here. And I'm going to have to rack my brains for ways of trying to provoke England to attack France. Or find myself somebody else to attack. How can I attack Castile? How can I possibly go to war with them? I can't think of any way to do that. Because that also would be another option. Grab some territory there and then get claims on France. But there's no way to do that. I do think. I think I need to go with Burgundy. Anyway, I'm going to put in a break. So for now, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave me a comment. If you've got any suggestions on how to <laughs> progress with this, please do let me know. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate and comment and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.